Welcome to the AlarmNet 360 course on programming AlarmNet accounts for the Lynx Touch 5200, 5210, and 7000, and enabling Total Connect remote services. To properly prepare for a new Lynx Touch installation and to enable Total Connect, the first step is to gather the AlarmNet subscriber or account information. This information includes the customer's username and password, phone number, and home or business address. Also note the AlarmNet communicator account information, known as the Alarm Reporting Number. It consists of a two-digit City ID, a two-digit Central Station or CS ID, and a four-digit Subscriber Number. This information should be provided by your Central Station. You will also need the Lynx Touch Communicator MAC address and CRC, found on the product carton or inside the Lynx Touch panel. To begin, Go to www.alarmnet360.com. Log into this secure site using your current AlarmNet credentials. Once you have logged into AlarmNet 360, click on the menu icon located on the top left side of the page to reveal menu options. Click Devices, then click Programming from the drop-down. Next, click the New Account button. This opens a drop-down list. Select the Lynx Touch control system you are working with. Create your customer's account profile by selecting the customer type, existing or new. If you are adding another location for an existing customer, select existing customer and search by alarm reporting number or MAC address. For this course, we will add a new customer. Select the customer type, residential or commercial. Enter the customer's first and last name. Select the type of phone. Select the country. Enter the 10-digit phone number, including country code. Then enter the customer's email address. You have the option to add additional phone numbers. The next step is to enter the customer's location details. Start by entering the location name. For example, this can be the company name or a location, such as home, vacation home, or apartment. Select the country of installation, then enter the customer's address. At this point, you will be configuring the Lynx Touch Communicator using the information you noted earlier. Select the panel type and the appropriate panel revision. Select the communicator type, enter the MAC address, and CRC. If you installed more than one communicator, click Add another communicator and enter that information. Next, enter the alarm reporting number. Once you are done, click Continue. This will confirm that the device and AlarmNet account numbers are not currently in use. Once the AlarmNet account number and communicator have been verified, click OK. Complete the account creation process by selecting the communicator supervision type. Click on the arrow to the right of the drop-down and select the supervision level. Once you've made your selection, you can opt for additional services. If you are not enrolling Total Connect remote services, deselect the Total Connect 2.0 checkbox and click Finish in the upper right-hand corner. If you are adding Total Connect, you can choose to use an existing account or create a new account. For a new account, enter an account name, which is a reference to the customer. We suggest using the customer's last name followed by a reference number. You can use this name to locate the account on AlarmNet 360. Next, enter the master username, which will be the master user login for Total Connect. It must be a minimum of six characters. Then, enter the user's email address. You can check the Enable User Code Management box to add, modify, or remove panel user codes from Total Connect. This also enables customers to arm or disarm the panel from Total Connect without having to enter the panel user code every time. Enter the panel's master code. Enter the zip code where the panel is located to provide local information. At this point, you can select Total Connect service plan that your customer signed up for. Then select any additional services the customer is subscribing to. For information on each of these services, click the question mark next to each service name. Select the desired end user preferences, including language, time zone, date format, and time format. 
Finally, select the basic notifications your customer would like to receive, or you can choose to select all. Once all selections have been made, click the Finish button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The Review Account page will now appear. Please review all of the information on this page. If you need to make any changes, click the Edit icon located in the upper right-hand corner of each section. Once you have verified that the information is accurate, click the Confirm Creation button located in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. A screen will appear letting you know the account was created successfully. Now that the account has been created, the next step is to configure either the panel or Total Connect. If you select the Configure Panel option, you can program all of the panel parameters, including zones, user codes, and devices. If you select the Configure Total Connect 2.0 option, you can add Total Connect video solutions and Total Connect tracking services. You can also pre-configure the Total Connect account saving setup time. To do this, configure Total Connect 2.0. Here you can confirm that the end user profile has been properly configured. You can edit information on this screen by clicking the pencil icon. You can pre-configure the Total Connect 2.0 account at this point by clicking the pre-configure button. You will see a window pop-up displaying the Total Connect 2.0 landing page. You will see the username listed under the user's menu confirming the pre-configuration. Navigate back to AlarmNet 360 by closing the Total Connect window. If your customer is adding cameras or tracking devices, set those up by clicking the Devices button and selecting the device to add. Click Commission to commission Total Connect 2.0 account. When the confirmation window appears, click OK. Click Close. You will be returned to the Device Programming screen. You will see the account you just created listed in red. From the app pull-down menu, select Edit. Click the Advance icon next to the menu. You will see a notification window stating the account is inactive. Click Close. To activate the account, make sure the Links Touch panel is powered up. Register the panel by clicking the Send Data and Register button. You will see a message that the registration command has been sent to the panel. Click OK. The average registration takes three to four minutes. You may have to click the Refresh button to update the account status. Once the panel is registered, the Account Overview icon on the left will turn from red to green, and the account status will change from a red inactive listing to a green active listing. Congratulations! You have successfully programmed your Lynx Touch account and enabled Total Connect remote services on AlarmNet 360. For additional assistance, please view the other Quick Start help videos located on the website or contact AlarmNet Technical Support at 1-800-222-6525.